everybody it is kyle here from this is drive and you know today we're going to go over everything that there is to know on the 2022 ford bronco now obviously the bronco has been all of the rage lately uh, it's one of the most popular vehicles right now in the united states and uh, dealers cannot keep them in stock ford cannot make them quick enough you'll even uh, see some of the top trim level ford broncos going for $90,000, $100,000. And the crazy part is that people are actually willing to pay that much, at least right now, uh, for them. Now, however, in the future, thankfully, uh, this will all be under control and you will be able to buy a Bronco um, at or very close to the actual price, the MSRP price of the car. So for what we're gonna go ahead and do today, we're gonna spec um, what in my opinion is the, the best Bronco, the ideal Bronco. It's exactly uh, how we would spec the car if we were going to go ahead and buy one ourselves. Now, what I really do appreciate uh, about Ford and the Bronco is that even just the, the base model uh, has a lot of off-road performance, a lot of off-road potential. It actually um, kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, the little original Land Rover, in the way that's very basic, and I really appreciate that. Obviously, you can get every one of them here in either a two-door or four-door configuration. Uh, so the base is is pretty cool. Uh, it has you no know, standard four wheel drive. You can still remove all of the doors, and you can still add the Sasquatch package, the off road package. It includes uh, things you know like thirty five inch tires, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so again, you know if you're looking for something very basic, obviously the base model would make sense. The Big Ben model is very similar, um, you know, to the base model. Just adds a few more uh, luxury features. It's not, you know, a big difference when it comes to off-road capabilities. Now, the Black Diamond, however, does add a fair amount of additional off-road capabilities. It has a standard rear locking differential, a steel front and rear bumpers, uh, multiple skid plates in place uh, to keep to keep the vehicle on track, and uh, different GOAT modes as they call it, but that's go, oh, goes over all train modes, so different uh, train response system. Uh, and then the Outer Banks has you know pretty much all those features, again, but just a little bit more of a luxurious package. Now, of course, you can go straight for the wild track package, uh, trim level rather, but you know that, that gets quite pricey right away without options of $47,000. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, in my opinion, the Badlands trim is the best one because you are able to really customize it uh, to you know be a, an excellent off-road vehicle, still comes with plenty of convenience features, and it's not going to totally break the bank. Now, we're going to go ahead and choose the four-door configuration. I feel like that's the most useful. You're driving a large vehicle already, off-road vehicle, so we're going to go ahead and add the extra two doors. Uh, I also prefer the look of the four-door over the two-door version. Uh, you know, again, it depends on, on you know your personality, what you're, what you're looking for, what you'd prefer. But again, this is already a really large vehicle, so why not get the extra utility of the four doors? So we're gonna go ahead and start our build here. Comes up, first thing we're gonna choose is the color. I've already looked at all the colors. We're gonna go straight for the orange, okay? Because this is a very classic color already. And as far as resale values go, this color is going to definitely sell for a top dollar. Another thing which I'd like to point out is this, this lighter color really allows the, the lines and the different trim pieces on the vehicle to be accentuated, including the front grille. If we choose something like black, everything just sort of blends in uh, to, to everything. And this color right here, well, I do you know think it looks pretty nice. It's not very bold, it's not very loud. This is a very bold vehicle. So we wanna go ahead and choose a very bold color. Now, we're gonna actually later on choose the Sasquatch package, which will come uh, with, uh, with different tires. So we're gonna go ahead and just leave that as is uh, for the moment. But standard, you get 17 inch wheels with these all-terrain tires, but they're already very knobby. Uh, they're pretty much ready for off-roading right there. Now, you can see here, you can get a fully retractable soft top, which is really great. And you know, if you lived in a uh, climate where you know, like California or something like that, that would make that would make a lot of sense. 
Now it, it comes as part of a of a package there. Uh, however, you know a lot of vehicles these are going to be off road. It's not always going to be you know super warm, great climate. I am going to go ahead and actually get uh, the the full molded and colored top. Okay, so I'm this is going to give us a little more protection. It's going to be a little bit of a quieter ride inside, especially if you're using this as your daily driver. I think it's good to have good to have that uh, that extra soundproofing. Now another thing I'm definitely going to add here are these uh, this front bumper. It's the heavy duty performance bumper. Okay, so it's uh, steel plates underneath the front section here. It does remove the the fog lamps, but that's okay, not a big deal. Okay, so as you can see too, it already it even looks cooler. It has these tow hitches on the front. It looks pretty neat tow anchors. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass on most of this right now. And I will add the keyless entry. I think that can be a convenient feature to have. Although, you know, it does add uh, this, this area here which protrudes out of the door. And, you know, so you may not like that from a styling perspective. But I'm going to go ahead and, and keep it like that. Now, we are going to go ahead and... Uh, do a little bit of an upgraded interior there. Okay, it's part of the package. We'll dig more into that in a minute, but that's a $3,690 option. Uh, I do, I really do prefer these these seats, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and opt for that. There's a series you know, of different protectors, liners. I would uh, definitely go for all these. They're custom, you know, fit into the vehicle. You can also buy aftermarket as well. Um, but I, I, I like the factory one, so we're going to go ahead and, and grab those. So I'm a big audio guy. I listen to a lot of music, so I would also grab the optional 10-speaker audio system. That's part of a package, which we will dig into in just a second. Okay. Another big thing here. So it comes base with the 2.3-liter EcoBoost engine, 7-speed manual transmission is only available with the 2.3 okay keep that in mind uh, 300 horsepower 325 pound feet of torque uh, you know it's uh it will get it will get the job done uh, it is a larger vehicle though it's pretty it's pretty heavy so we're going to go ahead and we are going to get the the optional engine here it's 1895 if i had to only pick one option it would definitely be to get the larger more powerful engine I think that's very important, especially on an off-road vehicle. You get 405 torque, okay? So pound foot of torque, 405. That's great for off-roading. Good low-end torque. You want that, okay? As you can see, uh, there is a seven-speed manual available, and uh, if you choose the right transmission, I'm sorry, if you choose the right engine, you get the seven-speed manual. Some people really like that. That's great. So this is that uh, big equipment group we went for. I think it includes a lot of really important features. Uh, one being here, the adaptive cruise control, doing a lot of driving, that's great. Uh, the premium sound system has the heated steering wheel, obviously a few other things here. Of course, includes all of, all of these features as well. So we're doing you know, all of the ambient lighting, auto dimming, and things of that nature, okay? So if you wanna save some money, um, you could obviously go for something more basic. I would do this. I would definitely want the front stabilizer bar, disconnect the electronic locking front and rear axle, and the advanced 4x4. Okay, so that's in a that's in a package that I would uh, I would get if I didn't get any of those other ones. This is definitely the most utilitarian package. You would definitely get that. The Sasquatch off-road package, 17-inch wheels. And uh, as you can see, absolutely massive 35 inch mud all-terrain tires. Uh, it also adds 4.7 final drive ratio with the electronic locking front and rear axle, high clearance suspension, high clearance fender flares there as well. So if we're buying a Bronco, we're going all in. So we are definitely going to add this package, okay? So at the end of the day, here, here we go. $61,735. This is truly, you know, the ultimate off-road machine we've built right here. We're saving some money off of the full-blown package, uh, you know, the full-blown trim. Um, as you can see here, we can do a couple cool things. Take the doors off, roof off. Still take it off the roof. It looks really cool. 
So yeah, this guy is, is ready to go. This is how we would spec our Bronco if we were going to go ahead and purchase one. And if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below.